Hi, I'm Jen from Tea Leaves and Tweed, and welcome to Drinking with Jen. I know that Wednesday is usually a baking video, but I've done my baking for this week. I made a chocolate cake, and I actually followed the recipe exactly, which is very strange for me, I know. So I will leave a link to the video that I was inspired by for that bake, but this week, Instead of doing another baking video, and instead of sharing a tea session with you, I think I need a drink. It's been an interesting couple of months stuck at home, and the other week when I was writing on my blog about my daily drinker tea, the Bagwasan Honey Oolong from Wong Family Tea, I kind of threw out an offhand comment wondering if it would be good with bourbon because it has that honey scent to it. So let's try it. Let's try adding some bourbon to our tea. So I have my pot that I've seasoned with the honey scent oolong and I've got my five grams of oolong. We'll warm our pot up a bit first. One thing I'm really bad at with these little Yixing pots is not putting my finger directly on the top of the little button because that's the air hole. So I do that and then I'm very confused as to why it won't pour and then I move my finger and it spurts and it spills on the table like it just did. So we have our tea and I'm not even going to rinse this. I'm just going to give it a minute. And you know what? This watch doesn't even work. I forgot. My toddler whacked it against the dining room table until it stopped working. So I can look like I'm timing my tea, but I'm not actually. But it's not really that important. This is a very forgiving tea. So how's everybody's quarantine doing? I guess it's not really quarantine because nobody in our house is sick. Touch wood. But we have been isolating at home for the most part for the last over two months. I've been at home pretty much exclusively because I have asthma, so I don't want to go out. And I've written about it in my virus diaries on my blog, and I've talked a little bit about it on Instagram. But it's been an interesting ride. And one of the things I'm noticing is that I definitely drink a little more alcohol than usual and for me that means I drink more than one or two times a week and I found myself experimenting with cocktails and experimenting with other things. We've been ordering delivery. They do contactless delivery from a local brewery here, Denizens. It's amazing. We really like the beer and they also have wine for delivery from other places which is delightful because I don't always want beer or liquor so we have a lovely cup of tea mm, beautiful honey oolong scent and I've got probably entirely too nice a bottle of bourbon to be pouring into a cup of tea but I've got my Basil Hayden that I got from my mother she tends to buy me a bottle of bourbon for Christmas and I have a few of them saved up because I was pregnant and breastfeeding for a couple of years. So I'll just put a splash of that in. Can't really tell the difference. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. <sighs> so I want to know, how is everyone's life right now? Oh, I can, the bourbon and the honey aroma blend so perfectly together. Ooh! The one thing about hot alcoholic beverages for me is that it feels like the alcohol vaporizes and you almost breathe it in before you sip it and they just feel so much stronger. But the warm bourbon flavor mixes very nicely with this delightful honey oolong. Mm. Very relaxing. So no bake this week, just a drink. And I have no bread flour, or I have very little bread flour, so I won't be baking sourdough for another week probably. Luckily I have one loaf that I baked yesterday. 
perhaps when I get more flour, I will do a baking video about my sourdough. I haven't named my sourdough starter. Do other people name their sourdough starters? I've talked to a couple of people who've just offhand referenced the names of their starters and I didn't really think it was a thing, but if you have a name for your sourdough starter, let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for my sourdough starter's name. So yeah, that's basically been my life the last, oh, almost nine or 10 weeks now. So yeah, a bit of a rambling, loungy tea and whiskey session today. Um, so let me know how your quarantine is going. This has been Drinking with Jen. I hope you enjoyed this rather odd video. Thank you for joining me and I hope I see you again sometime. Bye.